In this video, I'll be showing you how to install our metal rear-facing Picatinny for the Hubin GK1. This is an aluminum machined part. It is black anodized. First thing you'll need to do is use a 2mm Allen to remove this screw in the rear sight. You're just removing this screw so that you can get the rear sight out of the way so you can remove the cap on the back. So you can go ahead and set that aside unless you're going to be replacing it with, a, with an optics mount. Next thing you'll do is use a 4mm Allen or driver to remove these two screws in the cap in the back of the GK1. So right now the spring behind this cap is compressed so it's trying to push that out. So you'll there's a couple ways you can do this. I prefer just to hold it down with my index finger uh, while I remove these two screws. Now you can set that aside, you will be reusing those screws. Now you can take your new cap with the rear pick, line it up and go ahead and insert those screws. You'll use the same four millimeter driver or Allen wrench to tighten up those screws. I'm doing the same thing as in reverse here where I'm uh, pushing it down flush while I insert the screw that way they, they don't get cockeyed. The next thing you'll do, uh, I lost the spring here so I had to grab that and put it back in there in the little detents then you'll need to reinsert the screw that you removed originally reinstall it with a two millimeter allen or driver so now you have a rear facing 1913 pick rail and a good place to attach a stock uh, one stock option, uh, this one's still in the works at, in the, at the time of recording this video, but it's our uh, quick takedown stock. I'll show you some other options as well. Now obviously you won't be able to use the stock irons with a stock like this, you'll need an optic. Uh, otherwise if you want to use the irons you'll need a stock with some significant drop. The length of pull with it fully collapsed is around 12 and a half inches. And with it fully extended, we have about 15 and 3 quarters. So here's another stock option. Um, this one's also in development, but this is our magnetic pit clamping side folder. It locks magnetically in the closed position and then whenever it's folded it, it doesn't lock but this one accepts uh, an AR tube as well you can see we have about 12 and a quarter collapsed and 15 and a half or so fully extended I don't know if this is the best option but I know folks will, will ask about it so I wanted to show this as well this is our poor man side folder It locks in the open and closed position. It's a 3D printed part. The tube is 3D printed as well. It can also be made to fold to the left or to the right. And this is the most compact option that we have. See we have just a little over 11 inches length of pull with it collapsed. And then fully extended, we have around 15 inches.